After the story behind a charming nursery rhyme, we come back to reality with a jolt, to witness the toll that nature, in her harshest mood, has exacted from the coastline of, well, it could be anywhere. But it happens to be the site of the once proud fishing village of old Hall Sands in Devon. And now, a weird fantasy world of ruins and, they say, ghosts. Sixty years ago, this was a village, warm and alive with folk who had their roots here. Today, it is deserted, but for one person, the last inhabitant and keeper of memories. Today, nearly 80, and still refusing to give way to the irresistible advance of the sea, Miss Elizabeth Pratt-John continues to live her strange but full life. Originally, the thatched cottages built on the edge of the cliff were protected by a great bank of shingle, nearly 90 feet wide, which broke the force of the southwesterly gales. Just before the turn of the century, the shingle was dredged to make concrete for the extension of Plymouth Dockyard, and so the sea moved up to the cliff, and the end was inevitable. These days, despite the desolation, Miss Pretjohn keeps herself on such foods as the eggs laid by her own hens, and fish or crabs, which she is either given in exchange for help by fishermen along the coast, or catches herself. To continue the history of the village, conditions deteriorated until in 1917, a gale utterly devastated it. No one died during that terrible spell of four days and four nights, but although the government of the day paid them compensation, the local people had had enough. That is, except the Pret John family. Now, and for some time now, there is only Elizabeth left. She won't move now. No matter what plans the sea has, Elizabeth will stay here. For the dead village is her home, and with it, her memories.